Okay, this is my uh, sleeping closet, as you uh, may well know. And I added this. Give it a little bit of a bedroomy feel, right? Instead of sleeping in a closet, I'm now sleeping in, <laughs> in a small bedroom. Anyway, these are my white buckets. So I got the undies here. I got the uh, socks there. I got, I got junk in here, belts and hats and stuff. Oh, I should show you some of my hats, shouldn't I? Some of the, my hat collection is pretty cool. Let's, I'll show you what I got in the hat box here. Look at some of these hats, okay? These are my hats. Aren't they neat? I got two of those. John sent me one of those. <laughs> I got, I love these. Oh, if you want to get me something, uh, if you want to order me something cool, Ultra Force combat cap size seven and a half i think that's like a medium 7.5 seven and a half uh these are what i really like they, they like yeah these are these are, this is my uh this is what i wear outside yeah but they, if you want to get me i need some more of these my my i have a pile of these but they're wearing out i got some of these i don't wear this camo too much although i do have some pants of that nature over here as you can see and then there's my uh there's my patriotic one and then I got some more caps, a whole lot. I got even more caps than these, but that's all that would fit in this thing. And of course, ah, the memories. And of course, the Michelin Man. And there are many more caps in the uh, box over there, but uh, these are the ones that are in my active wearing list. And then, of course, yes, all of my wonderful... These are the long pants and the shirts here. I got the, I got the shorts all wrapped up down there and up there too. So there's a whole bunch of them. And then of course my uh, flannel shirts, my new look, my pink camos, which I sometimes sleep in. Uh, these are my wonderful collection of white t-shirts. I have to go through these someday. These are plain white t-shirts. I must have, I don't know, a lot of them. And someday I'll have to go through these and show them to you. And these are my, uh, uh, these are the shirts that have stuff on them. Okay. And then the, um, what I also do is I have shirts that, these are the shirts that have on my, uh, my Camo Dave stuff on them, and then I've got my memorabilia tubs there and all that. And there's Crotchy with his new blankie. This isn't new. This is uh, Nap Banana. Ellen sent this to Crotchy. He loves it, don't you, Crotchy? Thank you, Nap Banana. It's beautiful. Yeah, and there's his friend Froggy and some of the Halloween stuff that's still up. <laughs> but anyway, what do you think? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not quite sold on it. It does give some life to this room. I don't know. I found this. Oh, I found this... Um, uh, somebody was throwing it out, okay? It was downstairs, uh, disc, being discarded. Uh, and the, people put things in the mail room. People will put things in the mail room that they don't want, light things. You know, if you want some furniture, you got to go look out by the dumpster, okay? Uh, in fact, I found a couple of these cool mirrors out by the dumpster the other day. This one I've already had, but I got a couple others. I'm not quite sure what to do with them. But this I found out found in the mail room. Somebody was uh, discarding it. They, I guess, it was you know to a, you know. And I said, "Hey, this, I like Scooby Doo. I remember watching Scooby Doo. Scooby, Scooby Doo. He was a guy with Scooby. The, the Scooby. You know, he had the funky little little beard there. Anyway, so I got Scooby Doo here." <laughs> And, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I kind of like it. I'm, so far, I'm kind of liking it, okay? So, anyway, that's the, that's the good old, uh, that's the good old, uh, sleeping closet there. But, you know, you can tell, man, I am out of, I'll leave that open. I'll leave this open today so you can have a nice look at that. I am out of content, man. We got nothing. We got nothing today. I got nothing. <laughs> Hobotech, most versatile 300 watt solar generator. Ooh, I can't wait to watch that. Yeah. <laughs> Rosie, three hours less than I did driving around Santa Rosa. I love it when she she always backs, she takes her van and she parks it backwards in a parking space uh, there in. Uh, there in Santa Rosa at a Chevron station and then she runs in and gets a cup of coffee and I always that's my highlight of her videos when she does that <laughs> oh man oh, oh yeah him yeah we don't we don't talk about him anymore he's down in Florida he getting his cat weighed and uh, vaccinated <sighs>
<laughs> Wonderless to state is a nice new one here. We get to see his family and his friends and all that. He gives us a uh, meet his uh, family. So, uh, you know, so yeah. So, uh, yeah, he's getting his uh, new RV all fixed up there. Um, mm. So we meet his brother and his new his brother's new girlfriend and the family and everything. And he's still doing DoorDash. Uh, he's got the used car still, so I guess that makes that a little easier than doing DoorDash. Doing DoorDash in a Class A, huh? Said he worked four hours and made 40 bucks. That's 10 bucks an hour, so. <laughs> he stops at a gym area place and uh, does a, does, gets a nice hot shower. And, uh, we get to see uh, James, uh, you know, in the Mikey way, shirtless, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's kind of a gross shower. Let's just put it that way. So that's about our highlight here. Dispersed camping in the Coronado National Forest there for my scamp travel adventures. Uh, we got uh, Crazy Quaddy, the biggest storm of the year, 12 inches. You know, a lot of snow now. We're getting into the real winter snow season uh, all over the country now. Northeast going to get some snow. They're saying we could get some snow here in western North Carolina early next week. Uh, so, yeah, you know... <laughs> Uh, we had a miserable weather day from the camping. We love uh, we love Lefty the pit bull there, don't we? That's one of our favorite uh, nomadic dogs. Anyway, uh, Campbell's man is out in the courtside area and uh, in his uh, you know he lives in an ambulance. And yes, it is raining and and windy and raining and chilly and everything there, like we've seen in a number of videos right now. And so he decides to uh, this is this is this has got to be the Fun, the fun stuff of camping here. Let me see if I can get a good picture of it here. There it is. Pull into a crowded parking lot full of RVs and vans and everything else so you can do your loud, so you can do your laundry, you know. So, yeah, jam in, jam in the laundry, the, the launderette, whatever they call it. And then he wanted to go take a walk with his uh, wonderful doggy, but he couldn't because, the you know, he likes to zoom around the parking lot with his dog a couple times while the... While the Stuff's in the washer, and he couldn't do that this time because it was pretty rainy. And uh, I don't know, you know, the pit bull tank that I walked for a year and a half there up in Northern Virginia, he did not like rain. And somebody said pit bulls don't like rain. Some dogs are okay with water, but pit bull, I don't know. Is that true, or is that just tank's particularity? I don't know. Uh, we have a nice picture here of tank that uh, Mark Fun Jones did a while back. I should get a good picture of Tank for the wee wall here. Me and you all, the wee wall. Anyway, uh, I need to get a good picture of Tank up there. But that, that's a nice one that Mark did a while back. But anyway, somebody said that pit bulls don't like water. Uh, Tank hated it. You know, I, you know, when it rained, you could, you, 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 you could, Tank would just, his ears would go back and he wanted to go straight in. But uh, I don't know if Lefty likes it either because we didn't see Lefty out in the rain. Pulling Earthship, uh, freezing in Utah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, people go out, you know, at least the one thing with Florida, it doesn't get that cold. You know, I mean, yeah, it does. In once every 30 years or so, it maybe get, you get some light snow in Orlando, like a few flurries or something. But, you know, what, especially when you're south of Orlando, you're pretty much safe from too much winter weather. You get chilly mornings, yes. But, uh, you know, this year, the weather is kind of flip-flopped around, and uh, Arizona's not a terribly pleasant place to be. Hey, we got a new one from Dave's RV Life. Some big news from him. He has bought a white van. He's bought a white van. So, uh, there was in his stream last night, and I said hi, and he said hi back. So, Dave's RV Life is, uh, I think he said... He bought, he's bought it online or something up in Pennsylvania. His friend's gotten it for him or whatever. He's got a picture of it. It's just a nondescript white van. So uh, that's what he's going to do. And I think he said he's going to sell the class. He's got a bigger vehicle. Once you get a smaller RV, okay? Get a smaller RV. I forget class, whatever. But he wants to get a smaller RV and then have the van and then use that and get rid of the car. He's got a, a, he's got a, a storage area up there in Pennsylvania just to the northeast of Pittsburgh somewhere, and he wants to uh, kind of reconfigure his vehicles. He said that last year. He was thinking about doing that. He, I don't think he needs all that. You know, he's got a fairly large RV that he just got a new, got the transmission fixed in with his wonderful dog, Bella, and uh, so he's got a van now. So van, 
that, that, that'll give you more flexibility. I really think a lot of these nomads need to get into smaller vehicles, especially if it's just you and your beast, you know? I mean, if it's just one person, you know, it's like uh, No Fear to Truck Ray. You know, he's got a, a nice compact RV. It's not a lot of room inside, but it's just enough for one person, you know? I don't know. <laughs> dark, dark times ahead for line screw, huh? Unemployment debt and, oh my goodness. You know, uh, he was, I guess, a little upset yesterday that we learned that uh, you can now uh, film in a national park without a permit. And he was trying to get uh, Carolyn's RV life in trouble for <laughs> doing that. And he did a video a while back where he said, you know, she's been filming in national parks, or at least she did way back when, and I'm going to get her in trouble. Well, I don't think that's going to happen, you think? <laughs> Inspirational nomad living in his car, C-A-R. Uh, yeah, it's a, yeah, Florida. He's like saying Florida is a, you know, everybody loves Florida, okay? You know, there's a certain mystique about Florida uh, that, that other states don't have, you know, and, and well, you know, like, you know, Indiana, you know, no one like dreams of Indiana or dreams of South Dakota. Well, maybe some people do, but Florida yeah, it's, it's a go-to state. It's a state that a lot of people really love, and he loves being there. Now, he seems to divide his time summers in New Jersey and winters in Florida. <laughs> New, that's, there's another state people dream about, New Jersey. Uh, I miss New I, you know, I grew up in New Jersey. I miss New Jersey. We got another one here. Um, uh, Little House Off the Grid. YouTube is ending his freedom. Yeah, okay. You really, I, I like Rob. He does a great channel. He's really building out the house there. He's done a good job with it. His off-grid house there somewhere in the wilds of Missouri. But his, his, um, his, his, his um, clickbait is bunk. Okay, it's all bunk. Yeah, I mean, it's one thing if you do clickbait once in a while where you have something really special, but... <laughs> We have uh, Jamie there, and Enigmatic Nomadics is now in Quartzsite, too. So he has finally made it there. He was in North Georgia for quite a while, working on Liz's bus, and now he is uh, back in the uh, Southwest. I think he is a better fit in the Southwest, to be honest with you. I don't think he liked being in North Georgia. They cleared all that land. They cleared all that land in North Georgia for they were going to have a, a van build this spring, and then he just said, heck with it, I'm going out west. So Jamie is pretty much back out west, and it looks like he's looking for work. If you need work done on your vehicle, if you want some solar panels put up, call Jamie at 1-800... I don't know what his number is. Watch the video. He's, he's pitching it, okay? He's pitching it. Um... <laughs> You got Tom Green doing a musical video. Right now is the right time. He's the uh, former NTV or he used to be big. He is now uh, a, living in his uh, camper there, so good for him. And uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, yeah. And uh, of course, uh, ice magnet fishing if you're so inclined. Happy place camping. Check it out. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. Anyway. That's all I got today. That's it. I think that's about it. We'll do some letters later. Hopefully we'll get some more some interesting stuff popping up here on the Camo Dave channel. Thank you so much. Thank you. So tell me if you like this. I don't know. I like it. That's kind of gives the room a little little panache. What do you think? What do you think? Huh? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. It's, 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 I can take it down. It's just got four push pins, you know, but let me know what you think. Yeah. Yay or nay? All right, everybody. Yeah, here's the studio. How do you like it? You know, I, I think it's doing good. I got my colored lights to hypnotize. You know, let's do some red. Let's do some purple. Let's do some uh, plain old uh, that. I don't know, man. I don't know. I kind of like it. What do you think? Anyway, uh, so yeah, you know, got my colored bulbs. <laughs> the me, the wee wall. And uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to get out on the road. I really do sometime in early 2021. I definitely have plans to go up to Northern Virginia in late March because I got some family business to take care of. And I definitely want to get out to Phoenix this year. Yeah. I, I, there's a lot of people around Apache Junction that I really want to meet this year. And um, one of my friends in Phoenix is moving. He's living, he lives in Gilbert now, and he's moving over near Apache Junction. And he's going to have a new place. I think it's going to be ready sometime in May or something. So that might be a good time. It's going to be hot if I go out there any later, but I don't care. I can deal with the heat. 
you know, I'm not, I just will stay inside all the time. And there are beautiful air conditioned malls in Scottsdale, and uh, and I'll go see, I'll go visit Camp Goer One. There's a lot of cool people in the Phoenix area. A guy named Mark, I might go visit. He's kind of just outside Phoenix, so I, I want to do that. So that's all my travel plans, and then I'd like to get over to Dollywood and maybe just kind of hang out over there in the Tennessee mountains. Maybe I'll go meet Hobo Shoestring if next time he comes back to his home base there uh, in northeastern Tennessee. I'd like, to, I'd like to do that. I think it's Johnson City. That's not far from here. That's only like an hour and a half away. So anyway, that's it. That ought to do it for today. Thank you so much. What is today? Wednesday. I don't know what the date is. It's the 27th of January. Thanks for watching. Vlog under. <laughs>